Well, everyone, today on the Yammy Noob channel, we've got a very spicy meatball. It's this, the MB Agusta Dragster 800 RC, number 41 of 350. We have a limited edition Italian naked bike here in the shop. Why do we have it in the shop, Spike? This came to us from our friends over at Eurocycle. This is... I mean, just like, the, the, he's like, we have this kind of just sitting around, want to hang on to it for a little while. And I said, will always say yes. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, so they shipped over this Dragster 800RC, which if you guys don't know, is MV Agusta's naked platform motorcycle. So they've been making the Brutales for a while. This has the same 800cc or 799cc triple that you'd see in the F3s and stuff like that, upgraded from the 675s that they used to use back in the day. And I think this makes a fantastic kind of superlative flagship naked bike if you wanted it in your garage. And some of you might think, well, yeah, I couldn't possibly afford this MV Agusta. And you're probably right. This thing's like 27 grand, right, for this RC? Yeah, this, this is a very expensive motorcycle. It's every bit as expensive as the Honda we've got out there. Um, yeah. And I mean, it, it certainly looks like it when you're standing next to it, but... Don't let that price tag fool you because you can actually get into MVs through Eurocycles at about 11,000 bucks for the Brutale. And then you can get an F3800 if you're more of a sport bike boy yeah. for like 13 grand. So they're not as unattainable as even I thought. I thought, you know, whoa, MV Agusta, not, not for not me. For me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But apparently you can, through Eurocycles, you can hit them up and they will sell you one for a very good price and they'll be able to ship it to your door wherever you are. So if you yep. buy in say New York or you know Oregon, you don't wanna fly into Vegas and ship it back. They will ship it to your door with a three year warranty and roadside assistance, which is pretty cool because it means that you can get you know, a bike this spicy if you want, or just you know your normal Brutale shipped to your door. Yeah, and the best part is Eurocycle actually sells one of every like two MV Agusas in the country, which is kind of crazy. I didn't know that until Chris told me via email. I was like, whoa, that's wild. But uh, yeah, that's the reason why we have this bike. Guys, click the link down below, check out Eurocycle. But uh, let's look at some of the details on this bike because there's a lot of details we want to check out. All right, Spike, what's the first thing you notice on this motorcycle? The first thing I notice is how wide the handlebars are yeah, and the doubt. fact that they're not actually technically handlebars. They're these clip-on situation yeah. with guards, like almost uh, like a race bike, but they almost come so far forward that it reminds me of my supermoto and bar end mirror, mirrors. Yeah. It's like- Look at this, look at the width of the total here. I mean, that's insane, right? It's like, like that's three and a half feet. This much, um, that's crazy. Uh, I think for me, the thing I really notice, uh, and you can't help but notice it, is the SC Project exhaust on this bad boy. Oh, man. Look at that thing, man. I mean, the welds, the way it curves around, the sound that it makes, which we can include a spicy sound clip right now here for you. And uh, it just is incredible, the way this sounds. I don't think this is the exhaust that it comes with because it's so loud, and I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure it's just a pipe, but uh, yeah, if somehow MV managed to sell it like this, hats off. I don't think they did though. I think the boys over at Eurocycle sent it over to us. What else do you notice? I, I mean, you gotta just adore the looks of this thing. God, it's very aggressive. So stumpy, and, so wide, you and know? And angular and muscly. Yeah. I love the trellis frame and how beefy it looks. You got the ram airs right here and you've mm -hmm. got just all these angular pieces of body work everywhere and the carbon fiber accents you can really tell that this is an upmarket motorcycle yeah i think for me as well the thing i love seeing on this is there's so much attention to detail and they want the form to just be perfect you look at this tail light here it just looks so incredible and they're so committed to it that you might say whoa it doesn't have passenger pegs but it actually does they fold out right here so your passenger can be on there but then when you don't want to look dorky with your passenger pegs boom you just put it back how cool is that? That is such a nice touch on this bike. And of course, single-sided swing arm, amazing. With the red wheels, the ver the like super bright red wheels. Yeah. It looks so good. And another thing that I can't help but notice when you look at it is the dashboard setup. Oh yeah. The dash on this is a little bit goofy, but 
you know, honestly, it feels to me like they're, you know, don't look at the dash, look at the road, have fun, you're out experiencing life. Yeah, the dash for me, this like secondary dash right here that's like barely lit in the daylight, I don't know why it feels very like Lamborghini to me, because mm -hmm. it's like you can barely see it and it's like below the main dash. But uh, yeah, compared to the TFT on like the CBR, for example, it's like a joke at how simplistic it is. But yeah, you can uh, you know change it up and be like, oh, but it's a it's a it's a benefit of the bike, you know, it's something yeah. cool that it has, right? I mean, it does have that kind of old school feel with the um, the plastic reservoir bodies here that aren't super mm -hmm. clear. Um, it, it has that older feel, but not in a bad way. You know, yeah. it feels like just classic motorcycling yeah and i mean it's just on the whole package it's pretty striking yeah and uh, i just again love the attention to detail you got this little cut out here between the seat and the subframe the seat has this beautiful stitching on it the carbon fiber the way everything fits together uh it's super amazing to look at honestly but uh enough talking about how it looks let's talk about how it rides let's get the thing out on the road Here it is. Yeah, it is a, uh, it, it's such a wild looking motorcycle, man. The more time you spend around it, the more you're like, what the hell is even happening here? It's yeah, crazy. Only MV Agusta builds stuff like this. As we looked over all the details in the shop, it's worth just looking at them again. The little hole in between the seat and this shape that matches this shape. And you're like, There's oh like my a God, it's- here. I'm pretty sure that, Yep. I mean, that's crazy. Who who does that, right? Like, who does it? That's insane. I just, you got to love MB Agusta. And you got to love them for putting that on this bike. I mean, just looking at all the little welds on there, it's, it's oh. freaking gorgeous. Yeah. I think the dashboard on this bike is so goofy. I don't feel like it really matches the motorcycle, especially this, like, looks like old school, like, Lamborghini, barely readable thing yeah. right here. That's the only way I knew I was low on gas earlier, because I saw a very faint little light, and I was like, I think that's gas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, start it up here. Put it in neutral. A truly delicious exhaust note out of this motorcycle. Yeah. I think even if you're not that into bikes, you look at this and you're like, whoa, what is that? <laughs> mm -hmm. It's super special looking and it rides even more special. So what do you say we get out on the road? Let's do that. I could see this bike, if you're a normie, being a little bit um, polarizing. You either are like, yeah, it's just like wow, naked that's a really cool. bike thing, you know? Or you're like, that is the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. But then they hear this. <laughs> And they're like, oh, hey, that's a really cool single cylinder you got right there. <laughs> My dad's hardly sounds just like that. <laughs> so taking off here on the MV, the first thing I notice is this wild handlebar setup. So it's, it, it is a handlebar, but it's also a clip-on because it clips right to the top of the forks, but they're so wide. Um, this is one of the widest stances I've ever felt on this bike. Uh, and it really adds to that kind of muscly, aggressive vibe that it has. And the seat feels like it's made out of pure carbon fiber because it probably is. There's no cush, there's no support, nothing on it. I mean, I can even just looking in the mirrors see how wide your stance is. It's pretty wild. Yeah, can you tell like how far apart my hands are? <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. It looks like you're getting ready to give something a bear hug. Yeah. Ah, and then on the side of the tire, like any MP Agusta, it just feels so special, doesn't it? Oh, man. Auto blip down. What a beautiful sound. Even from behind, as I'm sitting behind looking at it, it looks so cool. It feels cool to ride, man. Like, you just feel like you're on something super special because you are, you know? It also sounds really cool. Yeah, oh my god, I love the way this sounds. As many of you know, triple cylinders are some of my favorite engines. And uh, whenever you wind this thing out... Now I will say, I 
I can't imagine this SC project is sold on this bike as is because this is a full system. It's so loud, it's so aggressive. This has to be a little uh, fun add-on that the boys over at Eurocycle put on for us because there's just no way you can sell a bike that's this loud. <laughs> there's uh, no way. Is it a full system? I kind of saw a big a bit of a can underneath it. We got to take a look when we're back on the side of the road. Dude, it's so loud. How could it not be a full system? If there is a cat in here or some sort of resonator, I will be shocked because uh, it drones so hard in third gear. <laughs> MVs have this really cool way of somehow these bikes are extremely modern and forward thinking and yet they have such an old school flavor and charm about them. Like this dash, the way this engine makes its power, this thing feels decidedly like an old school naked brawler of a bike but uh, done up in a brand new modern way. It is so cool. Now I can't remember off the top of my head but I believe this uh, Dragster 800 RC is a little down on top end power over the F3 800 RC. This doesn't feel like it has the same top end rush as that one we had last year, but uh, still plenty torquey and potent for the average street rider. And it makes such nice power. It doesn't feel like it's gonna get out of hand. This is to me the absolute bleeding edge of what I would put on a street bike. About 130, 140 horsepower. You can really use a lot of it, you know, and it just feels so good. So how does it feel compared to the sort of manic power that the uh, MT-09 makes? Because that MT-09 makes some just stupid crazy power everywhere. Yeah, it's actually really different than the MT-09. It's, um, you know, way less torquey, but uh, a lot more linear. You know, the MT-09 just punches so hard at the bottom. And for only having 47 more cubes, the MT-09 feels like a leader bike. It just has that angry sound. I can hear it pulling away from me when you get on the gas. Yeah, because first through third gear is definitely Wheelie City. It wants to just pitch and lift. It's awesome. What a delicious sound out of this engine. Now, as is tradition, we will wait for some traffic and then we, we got to see how this engine performs, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, you know, you got to do it. It looks so just bruisery and muscly just sitting there. I know. It's just fucking zoot, zoots up so fucking fast. I will say <laughs> this RPM counter goes up to 16,000. That seems a little, uh, generous. <laughs> <laughs> How'd that sound from your angle, Spite? I mean, it, it just sounds great. You know, it sounds like a... It sounds more uh, MT-09 than Street Triple, for sure. But it sounds like a sophisticated MT-09, not like the silly, uh, you know, hopped up, juiced up, built on a budget Triple, but something yeah. that's really elegant and refined you know absolutely that's definitely how i would would peg it as well i love the exhaust on this thing this sc project is just amazing uh but i feel like you got to take a spin on it man you got to see what i'm talking about on this thing it just feels like a million bucks i love this bike <laughs> i am absolutely willing to take that bullet <laughs> let's find a spot here to turn around and get you in the saddle all right a leg over this little monster and let me know what you think <laughs> it, it is so crazy wide from this <laughs> like, angle yeah! <laughs> super aggressive you know i love looking down at this and seeing the clear see-through nissan hydraulic uh reservoirs it's that that does have that older feel to it but it looks cool yeah and man alive uh, that there's just nothing to that seat huh nope and uh, you'll notice that you can barely see that your blinker's on on the dash right now. That's If you if you look oh, down in yep. that little bar, look at that. Yep. <laughs> That's the high beam. There we go. Now, now I turn the blinker off. Man, what a, what a weird setup this is. And it does the thing that I don't love that uh, MVs do. They have this tank shape right here, right on the mm -hmm. inside of the thigh. 
Not a big fan of that. There's a car coming up behind you. Ooh, that is very good. <laughs> that is an excellent quick shifter feel. Yeah, the downshifts are awesome too. I love a nice wide handlebar setup. This feels great to me. But I think with the mirrors as well, it just looks so insanely wide. <laughs> uh-huh. I love how they're incorporated into the lever guards. Yeah. Reminds me of the what I have on my SMCR. Is it just me or do the pegs feel crazy low on this bike? They're pretty low, yeah. Um, even compared to the Aprilia that has pretty low pegs. Your blinker's on, by the way. <laughs> like I told you, you can't really see it on the dash. But yeah, I mean, they feel low even compared to like the ZH2. It's a really relaxed riding position, all things considered, honestly. Yeah, I mean, it, it feels like, you know, as silly as it is to say, it just feels like a really excellent, nice, juicy, powerful street bike. Yeah. The sort of thing where you show up to, uh, you know, like a seven course meal in a suit and a tie and you take off your carbon fiber piece to GP helmet and set it on the tank and then go inside and sit down and, you know, drink, you know, a 10 year old port. Yeah. Eat that crazy meal and then come back out and see your dragster RC sitting out there and being like, yeah, I'm very special. It strikes me as the sort of bike that, you know, you would have in addition to many other bikes. I doubt anyone has that as their only motorcycle, you know? Yeah. Wow, what a fun bike. This is such a cool, just, the whole experience of riding it is so unique. Yeah, listen to it against the wall. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. I love the way these SC projects sound generally. But this Do you one feel sounds... the emozione, uh, the, the passion out of it? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> now, I will tell you, it's a lot like an MT-09 where first gear is just like, yeah, party time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I, I do like how in first gear you just you feel that front wheel hovering the whole time. Yeah. That is so much fun. But I do see what you mean about it being just a wee bit droney. Yeah, yeah, on the highway over here, I felt, uh, I was like, man, this would be definitely pretty annoying if you were to ride it on the daily. It's a little too <laughs> loud. But if it was like a little weekend carver kind of bike, awesome. Speaking of cool to ride, this RS660 has no right feeling this good. I mean, it, the new exhaust on that thing is just, it makes the whole package. Yeah, this is so awesome. It really feels like I'm on a baby Panigale. You know, the seat is not as uncomfortable as a seat this thin would make you think. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't feel like I'm sitting on, you know, my tailbone at all. It's, it's not a great place to sit. Like, I'm sure I'd want to get off after about an hour or so, but yeah. from stock, this is, this is pretty good. And I gotta say, just the, the presence it has rolling down the road, I'm looking at you from the side here, the single-sided swing arm, that SC Project welded exhaust. What a beautiful machine, you know? <laughs> like, yeah. wow. With the red wheels and the carbon fiber accents, it's, yeah. it's so nice. It's truly really special. And it has that kind of hand-built quality about it, where, uh -huh. you know, it, it fits together pretty well like there's some panels up front that i'm looking at that are like a little bit off but again that old school hand built feel yeah on a bike this zooted up is is really cool as you can tell they're a low you know volume manufacturer right and um you know they feel special and like we said in the beginning it's cool that you can get them for not that much money relatively speaking like yeah that rc version is super expensive but you can get in on a brutale for not that much yeah that that is always really kind of uh, one of the things that i thought was a barrier to entry was how crazy expensive mvs had to be because they're you know these special italian bikes but yeah I mean, it's a little bit more than an MT-09 according to the numbers that Chris gave us, and then, I don't know, I'd way <laughs> rather have one of these than an MT-09 for sure. Oh yeah. 
Every other dude, bro, has an MT-09. Who the hell has an MV Brutale 800 Dragster, you know? Man, that, the way it zings up is just delicious. Yeah, it is unbelievable. Look at that thing. Just looking down at all this stuff, you can tell that, like, humans screwed it all together. Yeah. I love that feel. That's a super special motorcycle. MVs, man, they never disappoint. They are very cool. I also love how it has the picture of the motorcycle on the tank, just in case <laughs> just you in forgot case what you're you riding. Forgot, yep. They're just like, yep, this is a very beautiful bike. You deserve to look at it even while you're riding it. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, what a wonderful machine, guys. Uh, so we're going to keep having some fun with this thing. Uh, we've got it for a little bit of time until Chris uh, sends me an email, uh, you know, twisting my arm and wants it back. But until then... I'm going to keep riding this MV Agusta. Thanks again to Eurocycle for sending it over. Hit the link down below. Uh, get yourself a bike delivered straight to your door from them if you buy from them. So anywhere you live in the U.S., you can get yourself a motorcycle shipped directly from Eurocycle, which is pretty sweet. And, uh, yeah, we're going to keep riding this thing, but we'll catch you guys on the next one. See you later. Hey there, partner. You done made it to the end of this here Yammy New video. But I tell you what, there's another Yammy New video right over here waiting for you. Now, I know I'm real gracious like that, and I just do nice things.